Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss GCP data reader certification questions. And for better practice, these questions are based on real world examples. Anyways, let's head on to the question. Question number one. A retail company needs to analyze diverse customer data, structured, semi-structured, unstructured, at scale for personalized recommendations and inventory. They require flexible querying and ML integration. Which Google Cloud product is best for this? Let's first of all underline a few keywords diverse customer data, at scale, flexible querying, and ML integration. So, with the help of these keywords, we can, with the help of these keywords, we'll be able to find out the right answer. The options are A Cloud SQL, B Cloud Storage, C BigQuery, and D Cloud Data Store. Let's analyze the options one by one. A, which is Cloud SQL, is a relational database and is primarily for structured data. Primarily for structured data, right off the bat, criterion 1 is not fulfilled, so A, Cloud SQL is not the answer. B is Cloud Storage. Cloud Storage is not a data analytics engine itself. It is object storage. It is great for storing all types of data, but it is not a data analytics engine. That is why B, Cloud Storage is not the answer. C is BigQuery. BigQuery, which like Cloud SQL is also primarily known for structured data. However, BigQuery can query semi-structured directly, semi-structured data directly, and can integrate with other services like Cloud Storage as well for unstructured data. So it fulfills criterion one. And for scale, BigQuery is designed for massive scale and handles enormous data sets. And it doesn't require the user to manage the infrastructure. Flexible querying, BigQuery, is uh, it uses standard SQL and makes it accessible for data analysts and it is also incredibly fast. And ML integration, BigQuery ML allows the user to create and execute machine learning models directly within BigQuery using SQL. So it fulfills all the four criteria. So C BigQuery it looks like the most appropriate option and that is probably the answer. But let's still head on to D, this Cloud Data Store. Cloud Data Store is now Firestore in Data Store mode. And it is a NoSQL document database and it's good for semi-structured data applications. Good for semi-structured data. So diverse data types, it's not being fulfilled. So C, BigQuery is the answer because A, B, and D have been eliminated. Let's head on to question two. A software company wants to containerize a monolithic application into microservices and needs a managed platform for easy deployment, scaling, and management across hybrid environments. Which Google Cloud product offers the most appropriate solution? Once again, we'll underline a few keywords. Containerize, microservices, managed platform, easy deployment, scaling, management across hybrid environments. Which Google, which Google Cloud product offers the most appropriate solution? Let's look on to the options. Option A, Compute Engine, B, App Engine Standard Environment, C, GKE, and D, Cloud Functions. A, Compute Engine. A Compute Engine provides the user with virtual machines. Now, we can run containers on virtual machines. However, these will lack managed orchestration capabilities that microservices will require at scale. So, a compute engine is not the answer. B is app engine standard environment. Now this offers high abstraction and easy deployment, which is one of the criterions. Yeah, easy deployment right here. But it's less flexible for custom containerization and it is also not designed for hybrid environments. So it doesn't fulfill this criteria. C is GKE or Google Kubernetes Engine. Now we know that Kubernetes is the industry standard for open source system for automating deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. So it is basically doing exactly what the question requires us to do. And Google's Kubernetes Engine is uh, GKE is Google's managed Kubernetes service. So C is the clear winner here. Let's still head on to D. D is Cloud Functions. Cloud function is a serverless function as a service product and is best for event driven short lived functions and not for hosting entire microservices since these will require persistent runtime environments. That is why D is not the answer. 
So C GKE is the answer for question two. Question three: A rapidly growing startup needs to monitor Google Cloud spending, visualize cost trends, and receive alerts for budget overruns. Which Google Cloud tool is most beneficial for these goals? Once again, let's underline the keywords: monitor spending, visualize cost trends, and receive alerts for budget overruns. These are the options. Option A, cloud logging. B, cloud billing reports and alerts. C, IAM or identity and access management. And D, cloud VPN. Now, this is a fairly easy question because from common sense, you can tell that B, cloud billing reports and alerts is the answer because that is the only option which will give you alerts for budget overruns. But let's still look at the other options. Cloud logging is for collecting and viewing logs from the user's applications and the GCP services. So it's essential for operational monitoring, but it's not directly, but not directly for cost management. And IAM, IAM is essential for security purposes because it manages who has access to what resources. So it is not directly related to cost management. That is why C is not the answer. And cloud VPN, which is option D. We know that Cloud VPN is for securely connecting your on-premises network to Google Cloud, and hence it has no direct relation to cost monitoring. That is why B is the answer. Uh, we can divide B into two parts: Cloud Billing Reports and Alerts. Cloud Billing Reports will provide detailed breakdowns of your cost by project, by time, and allows the user to visualize exactly where the money is going and identifying the cost trends. And the alerts part, this feature basically allows the user to set specific budget thresholds and receive notifications via email or pub sub when your spending approaches or exceeds the given limit that you have set. So B is the answer for question three. Question four: A healthcare organization is migrating sensitive patient data to GCP, needing strict access control, auditing, and compliance. Plus, example HIPAA compliance. Plus data encryption at rest and in transit. Which Google Cloud security features should they prioritize? Once again, let's underline the keywords. Sensitive. This is the main keyword here: sensitive patient data, because it will help you a lot when you're looking at the options. Control, auditing, compliance, data encryption, which is should be at rest and in transit. Let's head on to the options. Option A relies solely on network firewalls and public IP addresses. Implement IAM with least privilege. Utilize CME key and leverage cloud audit logs. C store all data in a single Google Cloud storage bucket with public access. And D use only Google managed encryption keys and disable all logging. Now this is also fairly easy as compared to the first two questions because we're dealing with sensitive patient data here. And two of these options mention public, like public IP addresses and public access, which is a huge security risk. But let's still analyze the options. Option A, which is rely solely on network firewalls and public addresses. First of all, this is insecure, incredibly insecure. In fact, firewalls are a perimeter defense, but without strong identity and access management or strong access control, encryption, auditing, sensitive data is highly vulnerable. Especially with public IP addresses, so A is not the answer. B, which is implement IAM with least privilege, utilize CME key and leverage cloud audit logs. So this is basically three options. You can divide this into three parts. Implement IAM with least privilege. What will this do? It ensures that users and services only have the minimum necessary permissions to perform their tasks. So this reduces the risk of unauthorized access. And utilize CME keys. What is CME keys? CME keys, customer managed encryption keys. Now Google encrypts all data addressed by default. CME key provides, but CME key provides an additional layer of control and it allows the customer to manage their own encryption keys. And we're left with leverage cloud audit logs. These will provide a detailed, immutable record of administrative activities and data access within the user's GCP projects. So this is vital for auditing forensic analysis and demonstrating compliance to regulators. 
also the HIPAA compliance requires audit trails. So, so far B is the most appropriate option of all of them, but let's see the others. C, as I said, it says public access, so it is a huge security breach. And it is public access to sensitive patient data is a direct violation of the HIPAA compliance and it will lead to severe consequences. So C is eliminated right off the bat. And D is use only Google Manage encryption keys and disable all logging. If you disable all logging, it will make it impossible to access the uh, it will make audit access impossible and it will make it impossible for you to detect breaches or demonstrate compliance, which is a major HIPAA violation once again. So, so far, I mean, not so far, B is the answer for question four. Question five A manufacturing company wants to adopt cloud computing to improve efficiency, reduce IT costs, and innovate faster. They seek a cloud characteristic allowing rapid resource scaling up or down based on fluctuating demand without significant upfront investments. Which characteristic of cloud computing is being described? Here, the only keyword is this rapid resource scaling up or down based on fluctuating demand without significant upfront investments. So this, this part of the question is really important. Let's head on to the options. Option A, fixed costs, B, on-premises infrastructure, C, elasticity, and D, limited scalability. Once again, from common sense, you can tell that C, elasticity should be the answer, but we'll again analyze all the options. A, which is fixed costs. Now, it says which characteristic of cloud computing. Cloud computing is known for its variable or pay-as-you-go costs, not fixed costs. That is why A is not the answer. B is on-premises infrastructure. It's asking you which characteristics of cloud computing you're using. And if you say on-premises infrastructure, that is the exact opposite of cloud computing. On-premises means that the user owns and manages all the hardware in their own data center. And this requires significant upfront investments. And it says without significant upfront investments. So B is not the answer. C, which is elasticity. Elasticity is the ability of a cloud system to rapidly provision and deprovision computing so sources. Resources, I'm sorry. And it does it automatically, automatically to match workload demand. And basically it responds dynamically and in real time to the changes. So C is what it is, the question is requiring. So C, elasticity is the answer and D is limited scalability. This is also again, right, exact opposite of what the question needs. Cloud computing offers immense scalability, meaning the ability to grow or shrink resources as needed. And limited scalability will not help you do that. So C, elasticity is the answer for question five. That was all for this part. Please subscribe to our channel and please leave a like and comment down below. That was the end of part one. Thank you.